The three uprisings in Iran, Iraq, and Lebanon have similar roots but are on different trajectories. In the three countries, a younger generation is rising up against corruption, poor governance, unemployment, and sectarian-based politics. In Iran, the regime dealt with the uprising by uniting over the brutal use of force and has offered no political concessions or political way forward. In Iraq, several militias backed by Iran have followed the Iranian lead of using lethal force, but there has also been a political response in the resignation of the prime minister and government and a new focus on forming a new government and holding early parliamentary elections. In Lebanon, the security forces have largely protected the protesters, and attempts by Hezbollah and Amal to use force have been limited. In Lebanon, like in Iraq, the government resigned and the road ahead is marked by the struggle to form a new government and the longer-term challenge of contesting and winning the parliamentary elections. In all three countries, it's clear that the new generation has rejected and moved beyond the older ruling class. In Iran, the political road remains blocked by force, but there are likely to be recurring uprisings there and the continued risk of an all-out revolution at some unpredictable point, perhaps upon the death of the supreme leader. In Iraq and Lebanon, the younger generation has already succeeded in bringing down corrupt governments and in forging a new national identity and civic values. Its challenge is to turn this historic momentum into a powerful and sustainable political movement that can impact government or better yet be the government or take part in government and in the longer term can contest and win parliamentary elections. In all three countries, a new future has been born. Its path to maturity will be as challenging as it is promising.